Hey everybody, what do you know? Len here. Uh, for today's project, what I'd like to do is to make a, a swinging bracket. So not too many videos ago, I made a static bracket, and I thought I could use one that uh, can swing. So uh, I looked through my scrap pile as usual, and I, see, and I found these two flat pieces. So this wider one here, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to cut this maybe halfway down and offset to one side, like such. And I'm probably going to hacksaw this one. And then what I'll do is I'll split those, I'll split that apart, right, at that cut. So you'll have one leg that's about like such. And this will come out, you know, be the same size. And then the bottom leg here will be a little wider like that. Something like that. Not a very accurate depiction, but kind of get the idea. So this leg here will be like one tenon, and I'll try to round that off a bit. And then this bottom leg here, what I'll do with that is I'll offset that and then make it approximately the same, the, uh, the same thickness as the top leg here. And then this bottom shoulder will be where it rests. And then this part here, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll uh, Actually, this will probably come in like such, like that, knowing how I when, I, when I open that up, how that'll be. And then I'll thin this out some, and then, you know, put like a little bit of an indent in here, and a little bit of a scroll end, maybe, something like that. So, basically, that will be the, uh, the part where you would hang something on, and then the, uh, the, the, the swinging part. And then the static part of this would be made from this other piece, this uh, thinner piece. And I'll do this first, and then I'll be able to figure out exactly how the length that I need for this one. So basically, what I'll do is I'll first punch two holes in that, and then I'm going to bend it 90 degrees, like such. So the punched holes will be here and here. And then I'll bend that, and I'll probably drill, maybe punch, but I think I'll probably just drill two holes here and here to secure to the wall. So, you know, you're looking on, it, on this on the side here. And then this piece will fit within here. Th these legs will be able to rotate within these holes. So the top leg is going to be long, and I don't care how much longer it'll be. Um, so, you know, it'll sit like, let's say, oh, okay. so let's say it uh, comes up like such. Let's kind of draw this again here. Okay. And then the bottom leg, like I said, it's going to be shoulder here. Fit, you know, just fit right there like such. You know, it's going to rest right on that spot right there. A little shaky today. <laughs> so the, uh, the top part here, you know, I probably won't make it that long. I'll cut it down eventually. But uh, it's going to be able to rotate then on, on this static piece. And the way you get it in is that this here will just be long enough. Maybe it won't protrude down that far on that spot right there is that you'll be able to push it in on an angle, pick it up higher along this tenon here to the point where this is above that hole and then drop it in. And then that should sit and then should be able to, to uh, rotate and be a swinging bracket. So, you know, this is my plan, but as usual, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. You just never know. Uh, another thing is I wanted to uh, also say, uh, Bruce Butcher, thanks for your latest donation. And, uh, yeah, the, the weather here is starting to become a little cloudy, so I, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, but it could change any second. The sun will pop right back out. So I've been really fighting the hot weather here. And uh, you can hear the birds chirping. He probably wants me to give him something. And, uh, and I've been fighting the giant cockroaches as well. You know, the other day I woke up and, uh, you know, I, I, and I saw two giant cockroaches dead in, in the house. And then uh, when my wife got up, she said, oh, did you see those cockroaches I killed? It's like, ah, I got up to go to the bathroom, I saw him, and just uh, took my slipper off, and whack, whack, one shot each, I got him. She's like, didn't stand a chance against me. So, you know, my wife, she's not, you know, she's not squeamish, I'll tell you that. So, uh, you know, this it reminds me of a very funny story I'll tell very quickly, is uh, the cockroaches here can fly. At least at certain times they can, and they're big, as long as my finger. One time I was outside, and I see a cockroach from the distance flying, flying, flying. And he came right down, and I swear to you, he landed right in a woman's dress. 
and she was dancing around and it looked exactly if you've ever seen the three stooge episode where there's a woman this high society woman is teaching the stooges how to dance and showing them dance moves and then something like a bee or something goes down her dress this woman looked exactly like that it was hilarious i mean i obviously it was not funny for her at that time but in retrospect it was absolutely it, it just it had me rolling so i'll never forget that so anyway enough talk of cockroaches let's get to the swing bracket see how it comes out hope you enjoy course the sun is right back out again so um i think for this video i'm probably just going to keep quiet and just film the process and let you guys enjoy so let's get this thing in the fire and see where it goes i'm using my new camera for this and i realize it has this weird bubbling background audio sound that might still be there so just uh, put up with it if you can I'll alternate between my old and new and new cameras it's just that the new camera has uh, better visuals I feel so like I said I'll just alternate and if you hear any bubbling just uh, try to ignore it
I'll do this a second time to get it a little bit deeper. repeated this punching process on the other end. Overall, I, I feel this piece turned out pretty nicely. It's uh, it's definitely got good function. Um, you know, it, it definitely you know does the swinging job here, so that's what I want. Um, you know, my holes got a little bit off center here, but it really doesn't matter. You can always tweak it one way or the other. 
and uh, it, you know it seems to fit in this way better than if I was to put it that way. So, and uh, you know if I wanted to make it so it doesn't swing so freely like it does right now, then what I could do is I could uh, use a file and maybe make this a little bit more square rather than having the radius that it has on it from the uh, anvil, and that'll help it sit a little bit more flush and that it won't move so easily. Also, if, it, if you find it's really swinging too easily, even when you have some weight on it, then you might want to just squeeze these holes in just a little bit, and that'll give you just a little bit of pressure. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys next time.